We're almost there. It wasn't long before we left the river and carried on walking again. I noticed that Leon seems to be doing a lot better after some rest. It's a good thing I suggested it. All for the right reasons, though. <laughs> this is the place. We came all the way here just to look at some pillar? This is no ordinary pillar. Right. He takes out a small magic stone from his pocket and places it in an open slot on the pillar. I watch the anticipation as the pillar begins to glow. Um, what's supposed to... A sudden bright light bursts out from the pillar. I closed my eyes quickly and tried to bury my face in my arms and due to the intense flash. Oh, there's a little ASMR. <laughs> Let's switch between my ears all the time. Oh, that was cool. Are you alright? Yeah, I think so. Huh? Where are we? Inside Wincott Castle. Wait, what? Your Highness. It was then that I had been greeted by a familiar figure that almost knocked me off my feet. Oof! Your Highness! I'm so glad you're safe. Tears began to stream down the worried bear's face as he held me tightly in his arms. D Dylan? We have been waiting ever so patiently for your arrival. I must agree with Dylan. You took your time, Leon. Goro? I apologize for my delay. The fault lies with me. I should have taken more care and precaution while escorting his highness. Ow! Dylan, you can let go now! I apologize if I made you feel uncomfortable. He released me from his tight grip before turning his attention to Leon. What do you mean by having to take more precautions? Surely something must have happened. You guys, don't blame Leon. It's not his fault that we're late getting here. There must be a good reason for your delay. We encountered a... dark spore. I failed to escort his highness to our agreed time due to our bout with the demonic creature. Uh, it's true. Leon protected me from the monster and got hurt while he fought it off. Surely you jest. Are you sure it was a dark spore? That I am certain, although the appearance was different from the ones we fought twenty years ago. The worst one was a lot stronger, cunning, and faster. By my tail. What of your injuries? I am well. Lyric... Um, his highness saved me. I didn't do anything. It was the Boko that helped you. Nonsense. If you were not there at the time of my dire state, I would have... Oh, oh. Dylan's jealous. Oh, so that means Dylan had already fallen for the main character. Oh, boy. Ooh, there's some tension right there. I sensed that Dylan was watching us closely as Leon and I tried to talk to each other normally. The appearance of this dark spore. What does it all mean? We'd eliminated all of them during the war. Yes, that I know, but it does not explain why we had encountered one. So you're suggesting they came from somewhere else? Possibly. There is something that has been bothering me lately. General Goro, I do believe you may have noticed the king in his position in the castle. Well, I couldn't say for sure. I have not seen the king in a... Precisely. The king? Yes. We knew of the actions he took to hunt down his highness by controlling the dark spores. Seriously? Seriously, he's controlling the dark spores. Yeah, that's true, he is. As hard as it is for you to believe, I can imagine no other beastman capable of this hideous act. Giroldus has the perfect location to make a pact with the dark spores. He is harnessing the negative energy released by the prisoners and within the city of Wincott Rothenburg. What does he intend to do? It is very likely that he is planning to summon a large army of dark spores and attack the kingdom on the west continent. We have to stop him. I could not agree with you more. It requires the complete royal and noble bloodline of the Wolfric family to purge the sources of all evil, especially the dark spores. But that would put his highness at risk. I understand your worries, Femis. 
General Goro, if you could remember our time fighting the Dark Spores together with the King. Yes, I remember it clearly. His Majesty. Ooh. His Majesty was able to purge the controller of all Dark Spores with the power of the Wolfric Magistone. Yes, the power of His Majesty was incredible, but you do not suggest we do the same to you. I do not agree with this course of action. Femis! I watched as Dylan retreats ever so slightly due to Leon raising his voice. We have no other options left. Those who form a pact with the demons shall be granted immortality, although it is a rule and curse for them to remain forever attached to the location of their pact. Couldn't we just drag him out of the castle? No. That would have a reverse effect. There could be a potential danger that the curse placed upon Gerald is to activate something else in return for taking his life. Like what? Dark spores manifesting within the whole city, devouring all innocent beastmen. No. Blast it! The kingdom we have longed to protect will fail. The kingdom we have longed to protect will fall. We cannot allow Geraldus to carry out his plans. The atmosphere in the room was extremely tense. The troubled expressions on their face made me feel very guilty about my whole existence. I can't be feeling sorry for myself forever, and I did say to Leon that I'll try. I'll do it. They all turned their attention toward me from my sudden outburst. I just have to get rid of the curse that my uncle is using to control those dark spores, right? Your Highness, it is far too dangerous. If I don't do it, who's gonna put a stop to my uncle? This will be no simple task, Your Highness. I know. I'm fully aware of that. Lyric. I am the only one who can stop them now. I have to do my part in this world, especially if I'm going to be the next king. Such courage from His Highness. If that is what the Highness wishes, then I, Dylan Femis, shall fight for you till the end. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Besides, I have you, Dylan, and Goro beside me. Leon smiles at me and plants his paw on my shoulder. You will be a great king. I just know it. <laughs> well, I've got to start somewhere. Your Highness, do you still have the Wolfric Magistone with you? Yeah, it's, it's here in my pocket. Why? You will need it to confront the king. I took out the small pouch that I had safely tucked away in my pocket and tipped out the Magistone with my paw. The crystal was glowing ever so gently, until a certain light emitted from it began to spread throughout my body. So, how am I supposed to use this? Listen well, Lyric. Using the power from Magistones is completely different from using magic. What do you mean? Energy from Magistones can enhance a certain ability depending on the individual beastmen. For example, Femis is capable of casting fire through the power of Magistones while General Goro can fortify his defense, granting him immunity for a short period of time. But you see, magic that is essentially practiced does not require using a Magistone. Magistone can only enhance a certain ability. Although that does not apply to your highness. Huh? Why not? Having to be born from the royal bloodline, you are capable of something more. Like cleaning a tainted solar or something? Precisely. That just makes me sound like I'm some kind of exorcist. Okay, but how do I use it? You must hold on to the Wolfric Magistone at all times. The moment you come in contact with the king, your desire to remove the curse must be stronger than anything. Your will to protect those who are important to you, the citizens, the hardship you have encountered, and the responsibility as King of Wincott Rothenburg. With these, you will be able to release the power to overcome the king's curse. That's it? I just have to touch him while holding onto the crystal? That is correct. This sounds a lot simpler than I thought it would be. The king is already capable of summoning dark spores to do his bidding. We have to be extremely careful and approach him with caution. No matter how many there are, we will fight for a kingdom. Dylan. Goro? Have faith in yourself, Lyric, for we have sworn our loyalty to protect you forever. Leon? 
The look of determination in their eyes and the words of encouragement is enough to lift my spirits up. Thanks, everyone. I'm glad I met you guys. Having to witness a lot of things in this city, seeing a completely different world and meeting those who matter to me. I've lost so much in the past, but now I have a lot more than I could ever ask for. I have to stop this. I don't want anyone to go through the hardship and pain that I have. I don't want anyone to suffer from the death of their loved ones. To be betrayed, to lose trust, to gain trust, to love. All these have shaped me to become someone better. These are... <laughs> these are all things that has made me who I am today. And with these feelings, I will protect the kingdom and those important to me. Well said, your highness. Like father, like son, you have the makings of a great king. We shall leave at once. Not so fast, Leon. The soldiers are currently on patrol in the castle. Hmm. I suggest for myself to act as a decoy to... No, Dylan, I will not allow any needless sacrifice. I shall go instead. Are you sure about this? Worry not, your highness. I shall round up the soldiers and inform them of a threat taking place outside of the city. I shall return shortly after giving out the orders. In the meantime, we shall prepare ourselves. Goro gives a stern nod and, and begins to make his way out of the dimly lit room. I watch as he leaves the room through a dark hallway. Are you sure it's safe to go out that way, and where does it lead to? As long as we are careful out there, there should not be a problem. That exit shall lead us to the main hallway located on the third floor of the castle. I see. Leon. Yes, Femis. Do forgive me for asking, but has something personal happened between you and His Highness? Whoa, that's a bit direct for a question. Yes. And that's a seriously direct answer. I do not intend to hide it. I see. Surely you must understand what you have done can... I do, Dylan. There was something very serious about his tone when he said his first name. I know the consequences that may befall his highness, but... I have also realized something important after meeting Lyric. I blushed ever so slightly as Leon turned to look at me. My feelings for Lyric, the bond we share, is greater beyond any duty and loyalty. Even so, I will never stray from my path as Minister for the Kingdom. I am aware of the difficulties ahead of us. And you should rethink your actions! No, my actions are not of mine alone. Our actions together spoke out loud and clear to me. Oh boy, jealous rivalry. I shall never leave His Highness. I shall never leave His Highness alone. And I will serve to protect him, not as minister, but someone rather important to him. Someone who will love him forever. Oh, so cute! His emotional speech caught me off guard. My face was hot, my heart jumped up and fluttered around in my chest. I see. Well then, we shall share a toast to celebrate once this is all over. I shall look forward to it. Dylan... Your Highness, I too shall do my utmost to support you through all the hardships you may face. Thanks, Dylan. Well then, let us prepare ourselves for the battle ahead of us. Dylan walks over to the table and swipes up two bottles of blue potion in each of his paws. <clears throat> You're at the potions you requested, Leon. I watch as Leon takes up the potion and begins to examine it. Yes, this is the one. Lyric, you take the other one. I took the bottle of potion from Dylan and had a good look at it myself. It looks like blueberry juice or something. I popped open the cork from the flask and brought the substance close to my mouth. Oh my. I know, the smell is rather difficult to stomach. Difficult isn't the word here. I looked at Leon as he brought the horrible substance to his mouth and drank the whole thing in one go. I closed my eyes and swallowed hard before doing the same thing. Oh, that was horrible. It's a bit late to ask, but what in the world is this nasty stuff? A potion of greater rejuvenation. Ah, 
Well, that says it all. Besides the bad taste. I do feel a lot more alert and somewhat better. It's like I drank a strong dose of caffeine or something. I have returned. What are the soldiers? I have given them their orders to patrol the city. We do not have much time, as since the soldiers will return from their patrol very shortly. Let us be on our way. To the king's throne! I followed as they all left one by one until I was left alone with Leon. Leon. Yes, Lyric. Thank you. No, I should be the one to thank you. What for? Even if it were for a brief moment for us to spend our time together, you have given me hope and joy. To watch this kingdom fall that my father had loved and protected is extremely painful for me to witness. As his son, I wanted to live up to his expectations, to serve his majesty and to protect the kingdom. I may have failed once, but I promise I will never fail again. Leon. Once this is all over, let's go to the river again. Yes, I would like that. <laughs> Come, let us not keep them waiting. This is it. Ready your weapons. Dylan and Goro unsheath their swords while Leon produces a small grimoire from, inside, from his inside pocket. Goro pushes open the big door with great force, and not a moment later, we storm into the room. Geraldus! What is the meaning of this? Ah, General Goro. How kind of you to bring me the Caninian. No, Geraldus, his highness has chosen to come here himself to claim his rightful place as king. I order you to dispose of him. Your orders are nothing to us. Useless traitors. How dare you disobey your king. The true heir to the throne has returned. You shall no longer rule this kingdom. <laughs> and do you honestly think that the four of you is enough to stop me, Minister Leon? I am the ruler of this kingdom. The true ruler of our kingdom belongs to his highness. <laughs> Such a pathetic bunch. Do you think I'll give up my throne that easily? My days of ruling this world are nearing. You useless beastmen shall know your place. Bow before your god. We will never bow down to you. Silence, you disgusting maggot. I can't take this anymore. What kind of uncle is he to insult others like that? Who the hell do you think you are? Even if you are king, you have no right to tell my friends what to do. Ah, well, if it isn't my favorite nephew, the bastard of my dear brother. How I've been looking forward to this day. The day where I shall dispose of you personally. Geraldus snaps his finger. A black mist appears around him, swirling and covering his body. It sent a very eerie sensation down my spine. I can feel something bad's about to happen. Three creatures manifested from the mist and took on a form of something that I've witnessed before. Dark spores. It's as I suspected. Geraldus, have you lost your mind? The mist, the dark mist scattered, and there stood the king with a demonic eye appearing over his forehead. Yes, yes, yes. I shall be the true ruler of this world. Warwick! Yes, your majesty. Make yourself useful and dispose of these imbeciles. As you wish. W Warwick? Dylan, my good friend, how good to see you. N no, this cannot be. Oh, how I have hated you since the day we met. No, I refuse to believe this. Such a gullible little fool. Why are you doing this, Pearlman? You stay out of this, Hermes. If it were not for your meddling spells, I would have killed that Canadian a long time ago. You're a fool, Warwick, to side with the dark spores. 
You are the fools. Can you not see the power I've received from his majesty? With this, no one will be able to stand against me. <sighs> Such a pity. Who would have thought that I was working for his majesty? You traitor. <laughs> no matter. I'll take your head first and then murder all those who matter to you. No. Protect his highness. Goro and Dylan ran straight toward the Dark Spores and tried to fend them off. The enemies had split up into two groups. The Dark Spore approached Goro with its fangs open and ready to devour him, while Dylan was approached by Warwick's blade. As they were preoccupied by their enemies, the two remaining creatures approached us quickly. Stand beside me, your highness. Leon opens his grimoire and begins to chant something from the page. The fiends lunged, at, lunged themselves from either side with mouths open, ready to strike. Ah! Just as I thought I was, uh, just as I thought I was about to be eaten alive, the dark spores were repelled from us. The impact was so strong they flew right across the hall. Ugh! What are you doing? Kill them! Kill them all! I looked around and saw a large magical barrier had surrounded us. This barrier cannot hold for long, Lyric. I shall keep up the other dark spores at bay. While I can only hold them off briefly, you must stop the king. I... My mind was frozen with fear. My body was trembling. Sweat began to pour from my brow. I started to panic from the thought of getting killed. Go, your highness! D Dylan, I have faith in you. You must do what is right for us and for the entire kingdom. Your highness, go forth. We shall protect you. Dylan, Goro... Do not worry, Lyric. I shall keep you safe at all cost. Leon. I looked at all three of them, struggling, fighting, and giving everything they can in order to save this kingdom. I mustered all the courage I had left and prepared myself for the worst case scenario. The creatures that were sent flying came back to attack us again. Your Highness, the barrier is about to disperse. Prepare yourself. Yes. Leon begins to chant something again from his book. Just before the barrier was broken, lightning shot out of his paw, immobilizing the two dark spores. Go now! I ran as fast as I could to the throne, giving everything I got in order to reach the king. My heart was beating so fast that I can almost hear it ringing in my ears. I sped past Goro and Dylan as they fought hard to protect me. N no Stay away from me! What do you think you're doing? I'm almost there. If I can just reach him. I was at arm's length until I realized that something didn't feel right. The evil grin that spread across his demonic face told me to stop. Just as I was about to lunge myself forward to attack him, he pulls out a dagger which he was concealing and swings it across my head. I was but an inch away from his blade. His attack took me by surprise. I fell to the floor panting and unable to move. <laughs> ah! Lyric! Your Highness! No, I'm gonna die! The figure of my uncle approaching me as I held onto the- uh, Oh. The figure of my uncle approaches me as he, as he held onto the dagger. Triggered the horrible memory of my brother from the past. N no! <laughs> Die! Son of Albert! Lyric! No! No, 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 no! Don't kill him! Oh, just as I was about to be brutally stabbed, a bolt of lightning shot past me, hitting Geraldus. Lightning coursed throughout his body, causing him to delay his attack. <laughs> Such a pathetic spell is not enough to stop me! I am immortal! I quickly rolled over to my side as he resumed his strike at the floor. <sighs> your life ends now! Lyric, remember your training! I gripped onto the Magistone and pointed the crystal at Geraldus. There is nothing you can do now! Die! I closed my eyes quickly and began to channel the energy on the tip of the crystal. A burst of light exploded in front of me. Geraldus drops his weapon as he tries to cover his eyes while wailing in pain. Ah! My eyes! I did it! I managed to cast my first spell! Hurry, your highness! You must end this now! I got up from the floor quickly and began to approach Geraldus with caution. 
I kicked the weapon away that was lying idle on the floor in case he tries to reach for it. I watched as he desperately covers one side of his eye and tries to look at me with the other. My dear nephew. He fell to his knees as, as he began to tremble with fear. P please have mercy. Surely you cannot come to harm your uncle. You are no uncle of mine. I struck my fist into his demonic eye as hard as I could. The moment we came into contact, visions of my past began to flash before my eyes. Emotions portrayed in these images began to swirl around in my chest. Everything that I had witnessed, everything, every, everything that I have witnessed, every experience that I had to go through has made me who I am now. I finally come to realize that my existence and my purpose were having to be born in both worlds. I, Lyric Rhapsody, am the true king of Wincott Rothenburg. A burst of light emitted from my body and engulfed the room. It was so bright that everything started to become a blur for me. No! I cannot be defeated here! My throne! My kingdom! No! The distorted figure of my possessed uncle begins to disintegrate in front of me. I watched as his body slowly crumbles to the floor until nothing is left but a pile of dust. Highness! Your Highness! Lyric! Voices of my friends gradually faded, and so did the light. I finally did it. Thank you for reading. You got good ending. Don't forget to save your progress. Hey, we did it. We got the good ending. Yes. <laughs> Obtained yellow magistone. I got a yellow magistone? What is... Okay, looks like I got one of the yellow... I, I actually got the good ending for Leon. Awesome! Uh, well, I think I got the blue one last time. I don't entirely remember. <laughs> I could have sworn I got one for... Um, for Dylan. But, unfortunately, my save game completely destroyed itself. Actually... That's not entirely true. I accidentally distorted because I saved something over while I was trying to get everything back. Um, so I'm going to have to do that over again. <laughs> but anyways, thank you everybody so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. This is an awesome game. I can't wait to see what's going on with Goro. I'll catch you guys later. This is Lyric, signing out. Have a great day, everybody.